first seed, only losing to the first seed, right? Only losing to the first seed, right? And I mean, um, obviously, Eli Kim, second to Zeno, Arcadian, Utopian Ray has been in sort of like a return to form recently, especially in the last like, couple weeks. He, it feels like he, he's definitely had like a uh, precision to his play that wasn't really there when he was first coming back in, right? Yeah, we, we need all the OGs to return. Honestly. Oh yeah, but I mean, as much as like Ray has, I think Eliakim is definitely gonna have a bit of an edge here. Ooh. At least like playstyle to playstyle wise, where like uh, Ray is gonna want to take his time, but taking your time against Snake as Pally was a little strange. And yeah, that, yeah, that forwarder, that forwarder is kind of wild. Um, maybe just expecting a jump, but um, gonna get this juggle situation. Yeah, though. we're not sure. I mean, Eliakim taking that first stock so early is so good for him because he gets the chill, and as Snake, you don't care if you're blowing yourself up with the grenades if you're also damaging your opponent. Yeah, of course. Doubly so if you have the lead. And it's so hard to just avoid taking damage against Snake. And Ray, to his credit, has done a great job of just doing a lot of damage to Eliakim, but this is so difficult. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and I feel like Man, th these are both characters that, with the lead, are like very obnoxious. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, Snake especially. Like, you never want to play against a Snake that has the lead. Yeah, and right now the way he's, ooh, yeah, that's what you need to do to do that. That's what you need to do to punish that. Great dare from Ray. He's a 93 though, so Eliakim definitely not, uh, not too displeased with the situation. Oh yeah, nice no. dash attack. There's no jump on Ray here. Doesn't matter. Teleportation. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Nice dash attack in. Palu having access to, oh my god, the grenades in the back air. Yeah. Out. And Ray pummeling there, right? Like, you got the grab, and if you don't realize it immediately that Snake has a grenade in hand, you pummel, that's, yeah, that's BG's. It's, it's GG's, yeah. I mean, Palu does have access to invincible buttons, right? So you can go through some of the grenades if you're in the right position to do so, but generally as Palu, like, you do have to really give a lot of respect to Snake. Yeah, yeah, and now, now we're seeing, like you said, giving a lot of respect to Snake, putting out a lot of these, um, Auto reticles, right? Yeah, for sure. And Ray <laughs> loves his auto reticle. He loves his B button. But I mean, hey, it is really, it is really good for like preventing Snake from just sort of sitting there and cooking grenades. But you're not. It, it feels like you're not doing too much with the auto reticle. Oh, the explosive flame. Well, well look, it, auto reticle racked up a good forty percent, and then now you have you have um, Snake and like oh yeah, I, eight kill percent. I mean, especially I mean, one back air will probably just do the trick here. Um. I like him with the parry though. And if you're Ray, like if you don't close the stock out soon, this could just be like Balloons. one of those situations where Snake just grenades you up to like 120%, right? Or maybe even just up tilt you when you die. Like, yeah, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. Up tilt right won't now. kill yet, but it'll kill soon. I mean, it might. Snake's no. a match rage. I don't know. Bad DI could happen. I think a few more percent and we'll start to kill. With the bad DI, maybe though. The players just moving around. Eliakim has been using dash attack very sparingly and in really, really great spots. I'm very mm. impressed. Like, a lot of snake players will use dash attack as, like, a good option of mobility and, like, moving around the stage. But Eliakim it has only really been using it for the whiff punishing. Yeah, because I, I feel like as snake in the, in this scenario, if you run up and try to dash attack Palo, you're just going to probably lose a stock and something's bad is going to oh, happen, yeah, right? So sure. just stay away from that. Great back air from Ray getting is, a kill across is the Ray, stage. Ray but, get stuck? Yeah. Yeah, and this is sort of the situation I talked about where like it's really hard for Palo to seal to stock and then suddenly you just take 10, 20, 40, 80, 120 damage. Mm -hmm. And it just stacks up so quick. Yeah, and yeah, very fast. And it was one of those situations where like Ray <laughs> Yeah, Ray respected Snake's grenade and everything so much during that middle stock. During that second stock, excuse me. Yeah. Got up to one, ballooned up to 144%. Like you said, got grenaded to death. Yeah, well, in that case, C4, but like up to would have killed, down throw would have killed. Mm -hmm. But we're running it back to PS2, and I would not be surprised to see this game play out pretty similarly to the last one. It, it didn't really feel like Eliakim had any openings. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like kind of just made it happen. It used, used the projectile pressure mostly, right? Got, got Ray a little bit antsy. Right, um, when it comes to trying to find an opening, and then eventually you just got outpaced by yeah, Snake. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, 
I will say though, if Ray gets the first stock here, this will look very different. Because then he'll have access to the auto reticle camping, just running away, forcing Snake to take damage from his own grenades. Yeah. But yeah. this first stock is definitely a huge deal in the matchup. Yes, I feel like this is definitely the matchup. If you have the lead, like more likely than not, you're gonna win. Like both these characters hold lead leads so well. Oh yeah, and I mean why I came here just has the advantage. Ray has been playing around grenades a lot better already, but that up tilt not quite gonna kill on the platform. Good DI from Ray. Cause that would have killed if he held the wrong way. Oh yeah, 100%. Sure. Yeah. See, Eliakim just covering himself with grenades, holding this corner situation, but Ray runs away. Just gets to the other platform. I'm gonna try to stick him again. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Ray. I feel like what Ray needs to do is like you. I, you, I understand respecting Snake's face, but sometimes you need to just run up to him, right? Especially oh, when he's yeah. throwing grenades, you have you have to do it. No, I agree. I mean, a lot of people don't like a lot of people don't uh, get it through their heads that like Snake does have like end lag on a lot of his stuff. Mm -hmm. Great up tilt anti air though from Ray though, and I mean it looks like Elias can go up tilted in real life. Shook his yeah. body after that yeah. one, and and, only, and Ray only took ten percent, so it's still in good position for Ray. Well, yeah, and these grenade trades are racking up damage for both players equally. Auto radical here from Ray to just keep Eliakim at bay. Dash oh, yeah. attack to punish the F tilt. Though. That was def that was definitely dash attack and not a forward tilt. I know that in this simply. <laughs> yeah. Feels bad. It's rough either way, but regardless, didn't get too punished for it. And Ray is holding stage really well right now. Wow, but the jab on wake up there. Yeah, and, and I'm liking how he's he's ducking in neutral. Uh, it's just. Causing Palo to swing and miss, and only way you can really hit that is if you do a, a very low space forward air or a down air. Yeah, exactly. And Ray's play in the corner right now is immaculate. Just pivot grabbing all over the place, pressuring Eliakim while he's off stage, hitting him while he's back on stage, and it feels like Ray is definitely figuring out a way to use a mix of auto reticle and just like more confident movement to get around these grenades. You got, you know, Ray got five fumbles in. Like him, gotta work on that mash. Yeah, and yeah, uh, forward air. It, it, I heard the C4 sound go off, so I think Eliakim tried to do C4 as he landed, mm -hmm. but the forward air caught him first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll see why that's so much damage. The Nair plus the missile. The Nikita oh. caught the teleport. Great reflect this time, though. Ooh, that forward air might kill, and it will. Safe, my guy. And I mean, Ray got the lead, but then Eliakim just. Making the hero plays you need to get back in the game against Pally, right? And now it's a dead even game. This is Utopian Ray's tournament stock on the line. Eliakim obviously having another game to play with. Wants to close that out here. These Nairs have something to say about that, though. <laughs> wow, the C4. Yeah. Oh? Yeah, pulled grenade at some point. I don't even remember. It's hard to keep track of the down tilt 2 frame. Yeah, Reflect is coming. Every single time. Uh, Do it again. I love these auto reticles. Just confidence galore from Ray. Just holding the space with whatever tools he has. And just beating the out of shield options. And Eliakim, we've been, tooting, we've been singing his praises, but he loves swinging this dare out of shield. And he's gotten punished for it a few times. Yeah. He just holding shield yeah, on the just platform. Waiting. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that's. He was just slightly too close for the auto reticle to be the correct option. And now. Ray just dashing back and forth, doing. Yes, yes. Think about auto reticle. If you use it, if you use it in a range where like you're almost in burst range. People could jump over and read that really hard. Oh yeah, or you can run under it. Eesh. Um, this is a tough position. I mean, Snake has Snake feels way scarier here because with Pally you do have to find like a solid up air, a solid back air, forward throw here, down throw, high recovery, blows up the C4, but Ray waits in wow, the back wow, air. Wow, 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 yeah. And Ray not losing focus, really impressive. Like, it's really hard to be in those positions against Snake, but mm -hmm. he just stayed super solid. You know, shoutouts. Like, he he found really creative ways to adapt where I didn't think he'd be able to. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, but uh, I mean, honestly, the name of the game for the last talk was just keep Snake in the air, because for all Snake can do on the ground. Can't do anything in the air. Like, yeah, I mean, you might trade with a grenade, right? But like, with all the things said, he tried to blow up C4. What are you gonna do in the air? No, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, 
And uh, uh, shout outs to Spoon for subscribing. Let's go, Spoon. Let's go, Spoon. Everybody, Bye. you should subscribe if you're enjoying the production, enjoying the quad stream, enjoying the blast zone. Been putting mad work into this, and I've been seeing that subscription number go down a little bit. Hey, uh, hey, we hey, need hey. to go in the opposite direction, guys. Yeah, guys. We're trying to go towards the moon. Uh, so Support house. Please support us. Uh, we've, uh, we're, we're currently fucking in Twitter jail, and so, you know, oh, that's it, why. it really helps quite a bit. Uh, yeah, so subscribe if, uh, if you're enjoying the show and all that. Love you guys. Take it away. Shout out to Devin. Mwah. Smashville here is definitely an interesting stage pick from Eliakim. Yeah. Um, I think maybe he just wants to box a little more. Um, less space for auto reticle. I will say though, the downfall yeah. of Eliakim feels like that he just gets a little too greedy in the wrong spots. Where like back right, that F tilt not gonna kill yet. Like Eliakim is like he's C fouring mm. slightly wrong, but that was a that crazy OS. Was crazy. It feels like Utopian Ray had nothing to do there between the grenades beneath and the C four to his left and the back here in the air. Like I mean, I mean honestly, if he came off and because he he full hopped off ledge, you could just like. Did an arrow or something, but yeah. does not matter. Um, even game, yeah, because Eli can put a put out a bunch of, option, bunch of options. So sure. in that situation, it's like, <laughs> what am I gonna do? Yeah, Local man, Maddie with the subscription Shout and supporting, uh, rooting for Eli. Yeah, I mean, Maddie out here supporting his Westchester boys. I love that guy. I met him at a waypoint once. Great commentator too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're crossing up with that down air and shield. Yeah, great parry, but the pivot grab. If there's one thing that Ray does a lot, he loves pivot grabbing into the corner. That pivot grab is so good. And yet, wow, that cross up dare on shield against Snake is pretty good. Well, Snake, because your only option is dare at a shield, but you, you're you only really daring at a shield like forward, because the, the scoop is forward. Mm -hmm. So if you cross up, there's no nothing really there for you. And Ray has definitely figured that out and is taking it to the bank. No tech chase, though. Shout out to that kids 01 yo, for subscribing. Yo, 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 let's go. Hell yeah. With the support. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's so loud. That was so Congratulations! Loud. <laughs> All right. That was low key a jump scare. I'm yeah, it was a huge jump scare. All right. <laughs> Ray holding the advantage state, but both players just chilling. Let's go, Eli. D Danger. Let's go, D Danger. Twelve the sub. More subs. Hell yeah! Hell you yeah! You guys are getting the hype train going. Oh no, and less yeah. jump scare. <laughs> I'm ready for it now, yeah. And Eliakim uh, anti airing Ray with the up tilt. Ray hasn't tried to land an Eliakim poorly in a while, but as soon as it happens, the up tilt came out. Ray in his tournament stock here, but this is very much still in his grasp. An up throw here to set up for a juggle situation. I respect that up throw so Ray much. Ray has been doing a lot of up throw recently, like a lot of up throw. Um, it's definitely an interesting idea, and. Not one I'm opposed to at all. Just like unorthodox. Yeah, it's putting a character in the air. Why not? Put oh, yeah. I think putting a character in the air when you have, you know, Pow up here is kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you also, it helps keep your back throw a little bit fresher. So, that too. Yeah. I mean, Ray needs to take this out. Like, Ray needs to take this out before he gets to 80%. Ray needs to, Ray needs to take this stock yesterday. Yeah. Because, like, but once you get to 80, that's rough. Great explosive flame, though. Elias him shaking his head. And. Maybe that frustration will let Ray back into the game. The dash attack to whiff punish the neutral air, though. Ooh, back yeah. here to call it the jump from ledge. No jump from Ray. The Nikita no caught the teleport and no tech. Please, tech those. Yeah, oh. that dash has to catch that. And Ray yeah. hasn't done that the whole set. Yeah. Ooh, good shield. I mean, the benefit of Smash Drill is a snake dash attack covers like a third of the stage. So it doesn't really matter where you are. Down there to forward air, though. Oh, that's another forward air. For Ooh. sure. Down tilt, and we're at the percent where Snake down throw will probably confirm into up tilt guaranteed. So, Ray has to be super careful, racking on some damage from the corner with the reticle. But Smashville is so small, you don't have much space to run. Oh, oh. Don't, don't get spooked, don't get spooky, don't get spooky, don't get spooky. Right. Recovering high is safe, you're not at risk of getting spiked. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like right now, Elokim is getting kind of spooked a little bit with well, some of these air dodges, especially like. The comeback Ray made last game might still be in his mind, right? But at 183, Snake will kill with most things in his kit. Like, really most of it. Yeah, dash attack would kill at the ledge right now. Dash attack would kill. I mean... Would down tilt kill? Uh, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But Ray is also very much still in this game. Like, like with 
if he just gets one advantage state here, like that's all he needs. He needs to watch his auto reticle though. Oh, that. Yeah. Dodge a grenade too. Really gets a. That had to be mis input. Yeah, he he talked out loud to himself there. <gasps> yeah. Okay, I respect that. Oh my God, the dash attack not killing across the stage. though. two hundred on Utopian right, and the great coverage with the Nikita, yeah. and a great set. But Elia Kim is gonna move on to play VB. I mean, he has run the gauntlet today, but he's gonna take the setup to play VB right away. I respect um, that. I respect that. I respect that. Extra bracket info for you guys. I'm also, by the way, shout out to Utopian Ray, real quick, before we move on. I mean, lost game one in what looked like dominating fashion from Eliakim, and then almost won the set. Like, really great adaptation, and just cool to see him back. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, definitely a great set, man. Uh, Eliakim clutched it out. That, that counter. Yo.